Hello everyone, welcome back to the HashiCorp Certified Terraform Associate uh, Cloud Certification Catalyst Program for the question number seven. Okay, let's get right to the question. You have created a Terraform script that uses a lot of new constructs which have been introduced in Terraform version 0.12. However, many developers who are cloning the script from your Git repo are using version 0.11 and getting errors and raising hundreds of tickets. What can be done from your end to solve this problem? Okay, so for example, what is happening is that you have written a Terraform script. Okay, now that Terraform script you wrote using version 0.12 constructs. Okay, now these are new constructs. A lot of things have changed, many of them breaking changes between version 0.11 and 0.12. Now you have used a lot of these new things, for example, for each object and a lot of new things you have used, which basically are only available in 0.12. Now, when yeah, you have pushed the code, basically the um, infrastructure has code into your Git repo and now some other developer. Now that developer has only version 0.11 installed in his machine, right? Now what they are doing, they're cloning your code into there and they're running it. And now they are getting different kind of errors at those constructs. For example, you have used a for each, they might get an error for for each is not allowed this literally is not available and a lot of errors and they are raising a hundred of ticket hundreds of tickets because they feel that your code itself is broken but actually the issue is about the version if they just upgrade theirs to version 0.12 okay then they can very easily get rid of all of these errors okay so let's see the options so option a refactor the code to support both 0.11 and 0.12 it might be a difficult process but there is no other way so what this option is saying that I need to change my code as simple as that to accommodate both 0.1 and 0.12. This is an incorrect option. There are ways to enforce control as you will see later on. And because 0.12 is a much, much better version than 0.11. So all of these new constructs, even Terraform is encouraging you to use them because they are, they are moving much more towards an oops level um, concepts okay and it is becoming much more mature language so you need to use 0.12 if you try to write code that will fit both 0.1 and 0.12 you are basically abandoning all the new things for 1.2 so this is not an option okay number b add a condition in front of each such specific construct to check whether the running terraform version id point is 0.11 or 0.2 and work accordingly so what they're saying is that, for example, do something like a if else, that if my running Terraform version is 0.11, then create the resource this way, else create the resource this way. Again, this is code refactoring. Again, this is not needed. And actually this, I don't think, I personally believe this is not even possible. You cannot do that kind of thing in Terraform right now. So this is not an option at all. So our option is not to, our target would be not to change the code because the code is correct it is working perfectly with 0.12 i don't want to change my code i just want to inform my users in such a way that please use version 0.12 right and do not create a problem number c add comments in your code to tell developers to use version 0.12 if they use version 0.11 that should be their problem which they need to figure out so obviously you can add a comment you can maybe add it in the readme.md and you can send an email to all your developers that please uninstall version 0.11 or install version 0.12 parallelly but see these are not good options right this is not how you need to enforce it in your code that if somebody else tries to run it using 0.11 they should get an error simply please upgrade your terraform to 0.12 to use this script simple something like that so c is not an option now d is a correct answer it is saying use the terraform setting required and scenarios code version set it to greater than or equal to 0.12 this will ensure that the developers are forced to use version 0.12 and does not use anything else so this is a correct answer so in terraform you can mention something like required version which is basically the required terraform version what does this signify this signifies that this code base will work with any version of Terraform which is at least 0.12 so obviously 0 0.13, 0 0.14 everything it will work but at least 0 0.12 is needed so what happens if somebody uses with some other version like say less than 0 0.12 meaning say for example 0 0.11 or 0.9 then they will just get an error and Terraform will exit they will still get an error but the error will be please upgrade to 0 0.12 or please at least use 0.12 because this Terraform code is dependent on 0.12. So in that case, the 
user or the developer will get a cleared idea where he is wrong rather than getting an error at a resource construct level where they are saying that for each is not available then he has to go into the code and understand and do a lot of things here it is very clear cut my code only works on this version of the software please install this version and do like that okay so as you see the answer is d use the terraform setting required version set it to greater than equal to 0.12 this will ensure that the developers are forced to use version 0.12 and they do not use anything else now just like every time let us go to basically the uh, terraform uh, basically the documentation so you can see the required running version setting can be used to constrain which versions of the terraform cli can be used with your configuration if the running version of terraform does not match the constraints that you have specified then terraform will produce an error and exit without taking any further action so it will be a graceful exit so basically terraform will produce an error that point 0.12 is the required version why are you using point 0.12 okay so how do you do that basically you can do this kind of things like you can mention that equal to point 0.12 this is not something normally you will mention but you can mention something like that what it will mention is that it this code will only work with this particular version any other version it will error out not equal to greater than greater than equal to which we have used less than less than equal to and then this is this pessimistic constraint operator which specifies at the same time both the minimum version and the maximum version with which this application code this will this configuration code will work so for example if you mention pessimistic constraint operator 0.9 it is equivalent to greater than equal to 0.9 and less than 1.0 so any terraform version which is between this the code supports it any terraform version which is more than this or less than 0.9 or more than equal to 1.0 it will not be allowed so terraform will error out so please check out this entire log section this mentions both the terraform version and similarly you can have terraform provider version because they go in a completely separate uh, release cycle so your terraform uh, versions have nothing to do actually normally with your terraform provider versions so if you also want to mention for example that my code only supports this version of the providers then you can uh, just in a similar fashion also mention something called required provider version so just in a highlight i will show you something like required underscore providers so this will say that if the terraform uh, machine does not have the aws provider of a version which is more than 2.7.0 okay or equal to 2.7.0 then again terraform will error out saying that please install this version so then you when you go out and basically you download or install this aws 2.7.0 version then it works as simple as that okay so again this is a very very important part of the program basically the certification exam okay so please keep this in mind go to this entire provider section but just go through the specifying required provider versions or specifying required terraform versions in very in depth i got at least one question from this in the exam and i'm sure you will get one to two questions from this part of the uh, uh, documentation so thank you everyone for uh, listening to this and please uh, if you like the videos i share and comment thank you